What are you doing, Pinto? Better not be rubbing against the vehicles. No? Okay, good. What are you what are you doing, huh? Huh? Yeah, it's about time uh we're gonna be banning you soon. You're gonna say goodbye to those suckers. Gotta keep you not nice and docile. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna be working on today is the trunk release on a Tahoe and how to replace it. Um, so we actually were staying down in Connecticut and there was a storm and we had uh, the back window blown out. The whole top where the third brake light is came off. Um, you know, ripped the old struts out, all that stuff for the, the glass and you know scratched the car pretty good also took out a little just a little push button here so that's what we're gonna be replacing today there we go and as you can see you can't you know obviously it doesn't work because it's it's missing so you'd have to stick something up in there and then press and hold it there we go and then it would pop open yeah see we even got the new new struts on there Tried to bend out some of this stuff here. It was smashed up pretty good. Still have to fix the third brake light wire. We're gonna have to do that. But today's video is how to replace uh, the push button there for the glass. All right, so here's the new one. And I'll try and get that the best I can. That's, uh, I don't know if you can read that or not, but I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Uh, that way you guys can go ahead and purchase them if you need them and they work on uh, the Chevy Tahoe's Suburbans uh, All the GMC Chevy And there it is right there And that's all it is a little push button right there. So this whole part broke off and is, is gone But it just plugs right in so it's super simple and uh, let's go ahead and take the old one out. All right, so you can see you're just gonna need something to pull on the sides of this. Use a little wrench or whatever because you have these little little tabs there on each side. That's all that holds that in there. So you should be able to pull it out. All right, let's try the old flathead. There we go. All right. So that popped that right out. And as you can see, it just has that little, pull this down a little more. Just has that little tab right here. So we're just gonna use the needle nose Actually, I might be able to just pop that off. Uh, yeah, we're just going to lift this up, take that off, and put the new one on. So, yeah. Let's pull this out. There we go. Comes right off. Really that simple. But, yeah, you can see the little button way deep down inside there. And then here's the new one. So just make sure they match up. Yeah, looks to be about the same thing. So let's go ahead and just plug this one in. And, and that's just gonna go right in there. That's just gonna go right in there. Use your needle nose to hold this and... Yeah. All right. So that one is on there now. That's the new one. All you gotta do is push it back up in and these little tabs will hold it up there into place. And then, yep, there we go. All right. So there is the new one installed. 
So now let's see if it works. Let's go ahead and close this. All right. Moment of truth. Ready? All right. Simple as that. All right, so there's the button. There's the button right there. Let's go ahead and press it. There we go. Perfect. Opens right up. All right. All right, so as you can see, pretty easy, simple, uh, really nothing to it. Pretty much plug and play. And now it's, it's all set. So if you're wondering how to replace that, there you go. Really simple. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for you guys. All right, and once again, we hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.